Sean Sewell with the Engagement.com podcast. It is May 25th, 2022, and in two weeks from now, we will be attending the Outdoor Retailer Show here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, unfortunately, I believe it's the last one as it moves to Utah here um, moving forward, which, you know, uh, is where it was before. And um, we've really benefited the last three and a half years plus of having Outdoor Retailer here in Denver. A lot of the Engagement team is based out of Colorado, Denver especially. So it was uh, very uh, conducive to us to be able to attend in such a good and deep way. We'd have six to ten people from our Engagement team show up and cover all the meetings. I mean, every half an hour, each one of us had a meeting with a, a PR company or an outdoor company at the show for two or three days straight. Not to mention the events after the show, which personally I never attended because I would come home immediately and upload the videos, which you guys hopefully appreciated that. I would sacrifice the happy hours and all the fun stuff so that I could edit those videos and get them up as soon as possible so that you all could live vicariously as well as be educated on what gear is coming out uh, from the companies. So um, during COVID, obviously a lot has changed and a lot of companies realized that they can very effectively host uh, virtual meetings with media and other companies such as ourselves and showcase their products without having to uh, pay as much overhead, if any overhead, um, no travel, uh, keeping people safer at home and, and all these you know variables that uh, came into play the last two and a half years. And as such, it affected, I believe, it affected outdoor retailer in a big way. And so um, I'm just really excited that they're still going to offer it and that there's still a lot of companies. It's actually the biggest show since COVID as far as retailers and outdoor companies. So we're going to cover it. We're going to cover it in a big, big way. Um, I'll go through the gear here in a minute because I think it's pretty fascinating what we use to capture uh, not only our reviews, but also the podcast and also the interviews and such. Uh, just to recap, before Outdoor Retailer was here, SIA was here in Denver in the winter. And um, my friend Dave and I, we started in Gearmit seven plus years ago. We basically had to sneak into SIA, um, helping a catering company uh, with their stuff as we went in the service elevator. And then we approached Patagonia as our first contact. And um, they loved that that hunger and the word hustle. I hate the word hustle, but, and that hustle. We shot our interview on our iPhones. Uh, my next interview was Cody Townsend. Uh, he had just won Ski Line of the Year for 2014. And so it's the 2015. Um, and sat down with him and a GoPro and a Bloody Mary and interviewed him. And the rest is history. Uh, what well, Cody's a fantastic person and really accommodating to my nervousness and uh, lack of professionalism. Uh, since then, we have about a thousand videos and interviews, um, several podcast episodes, I believe a hundred and some podcasts out now. Each time we're doing our best to refine our approach and how we, how we interact with companies and how we serve you and your interests. That's what we're here to do. We're here because we're curious. Um, we want to hopefully ask the questions um, that you would have, test the gear in ways that you would want it to be tested, and hopefully just share our excitement and our, our stoke. I love to use the word stoke. I'm the director of stoke, right? And Kate Agathian is the doctor of stoke. And, you know, we're just all very excited to get to do this. So let's jump into it. The Outdoor Retailer will be here, Convention Center, in two weeks. Um, there's plenty of pre-show shows. We'll be attending so um if you want to see want to see some cool stuff get ready for two weeks from now i'm gonna do my best to upload the videos as quick as possible i might even try doing some youtube live i've never done a youtube live so between now and two weeks from now i might try a few live episodes and see how that goes just to wrap my head around the concept um and then hopefully share the excitement of these events and these meetings and uh, just share that excitement. I'm getting excited right now. I got goosebumps. And if you're watching this video, you can see those goosebumps right there. So I, I take it very seriously too. This is, it's a lot of fun to get to do what we do, but it's also a great uh, honor to get to do this. So thinking back to uh, seven years ago, hanging out with Patagonia and Cody Townsend with our iPhones and just absolutely winging it and being in over our heads. Now 
we show up, hopefully we offer as professional of a service as possible. Um, let me show you some cameras real quick. So a few years ago, I invested in the, the G9 with a Leica lens, and it served me very, very well. In fact, most of the outdoor retailer videos you see, and probably about a quarter of the YouTube reviews have been shot with this setup right here. And then I would use a, a Rode microphone on top and just run and gun and stick it on a gimbal, uh, the Weeble S, I believe. And if I'm, if I'm going too far down a rabbit hole for some people, it will get more entertaining here in a minute when I talk about the, the meetings and stuff like that. But I know some of you out there are wondering, what do we use? Um, for example, the microphone right here is a Shure SM7B. It's, it's a good one, and it goes into a Tascam Mixcast 4, which I used a Rodecaster before that, and I've gone through several microphones before that, and I've helped some people set up their podcast. A lot of my colleagues and, and mentors actually have started podcasts, and I've been able to be of service to them. Back to the cameras. All right. I need a new chair, that's for sure. Creaking in the background. This right here has been a workhorse for us, the Panasonic GH5 Mark II with the Leica 10 to 25 prime lens. This thing is a beast. Um, it's a 10 to 25, but F 1.7, which was basically prime. Um, and it's allowed us to do a lot of really cool stuff. Now, a couple hundred videos in, and I've used this camera and the G9 and some other cameras to work with Pavel and Brett Jones and um, a bunch of professionals that I've mentioned in previous podcasts. But since the last time I talked to you on this podcast, I, I went Sony. So I got here the Sony a7 IV, uh, I picked up the Prime 20mm 1.8 and I tested against the Tamron 17 to uh, 24, 28 and I wound up going with the Tamron, They're just more versatility for about the same price. And honestly, if this kind of tech stuff interests you at all, I'm happy to go into more details because as much as I test outdoor gear, I do spend a ridiculous amount of time testing technology. I'm testing cameras, not always, you know, these super high end cameras or prosumer, you know, they're professional high consumer level, but action cameras too. A lot of 360, a lot of action cameras, some uh, mild drone work. So I'm just trying to capture content just as you're probably trying to capture memories for your family or your adventures to share with your friends. Uh, I learned a lot along the way, so I'm happy to share that with all of you out there. If that's something that interests you, please put that in the comments below or shoot me an email sean at engearment.com uh, let me know what you'd be curious about learning about because i like i said i invest a lot of time researching and testing these things and i don't put it out there because engearment in my idea is more about outdoor gear but it's also now incorporated fitness because that is my profession as well and then i do get paid to make digital content and record seminars and, and host uh, international events and stuff and if i can share that with you guys and it benefits your your well-being or your businesses i'm happy to to share with you what i've learned so if that's interesting to you let me know okay what have we been up to since the last time i talked to you it's only been two weeks i'm doing pretty good about keeping this every two weeks now instead of once a month um i don't care about the charts as much but we were number one in finland a week ago for health and fitness i don't know why but that's exciting Okay, let's go back to, uh, let's catch up. So we did the podcast on May the 10th. Uh, since then, uh, we've been working on quite a few things. We got to work on an exclusive with Allbirds. They sent them a pair of shoes, just FedEx overnight, no information, and they said I, I had to sign an NDA. Every once in a while I had to sign an NDA, uh, which is always exciting, and um, I do my, I, I respect them. I don't spill anything. I'm very good about, good about keeping things close to my chest. Uh, professionally if it benefits somebody else so any anyways i'm rocking these uh what became called the tree flyer shoes and super super fun uh really comfortable shoe in fact uh the colorway they sent me doesn't exist um which is pretty common i'm really grateful for so we got like one of a kind or possibly you know a very limited amount of a kind out there um it's like a peach color with pastel laces and stuff so I felt kind of bad because people want to buy that color, but it's it's not available. So that was a lot of fun working with that. And here's something funny. As professionals, we try to be. I still mess up all the time. I mean, every day I mess up. I was so excited about the Allbirds Tree Flyer Shoe Review that I had it uploaded to YouTube, ready to uh, post once the embargo was released. I was so excited that I didn't double check my work. So the video included 
pretty major blooper. The first 20 seconds um, was a blooper, and I, I did not edit it, and it became the number one video in the world um, for the Allbirds Tree Flyer shoes without me knowing the blooper was there. I was going back, uh, uploading another video for YouTube, and I was like, oh, let's check out, make, make sure that everything looks good, and it's in 4K, 60 frames per second. And there's a major blub. Luckily, no cussing or nothing derogatory. Well, it's, I wouldn't say anything derogatory in the first place, but it wasn't misinformation. I just misspoke on the, the name of the shoes. And uh, yeah, I, it was pretty funny. And to be totally honest, myself and every writer who shoots videos, it takes several takes. Like on the podcast, I try and do it in one take. About a third of the time, I forget to push record. Other third of the time, I get halfway through and lose my voice or... UPS hits the door and the dogs go crazy or something to that effect because we're human. So anyways, that was pretty entertaining to have a uh, number one video in the world for a pair of shoes with major flub in the first 20 seconds. Fixed it now. So fortunately you can't watch that and laugh at me or laugh with me more like, oh, but yeah, we're human. Um, up next, another pair of awesome shoes I use all the time, the Scarpa Spin Infanti GTX. The GTX, of course, is Gore-Tex, but there's a new version of Gore-Tex, um, Invisible Fit, so it doesn't have any crinkly sounds, which is really awesome because I love Gore-Tex, but most of the time, up, in, up until last year or two at least, they had a crinkle sound to their um, membrane. Not so with the Invisible Fit. Uh, Houdini. Houdini out of Sweden. We've worked with Houdini last two or three years. I like to think of Houdini as uh, Sweden's Patagonia. Very eco-friendly, very um, environmentally focused, and uh, just a nice aesthetic, nice and minimalist look to it. And we did the Pace Wind Jacket, which would basically be, ironically, like the Patagonia Houdini jacket. Just a windbreaker. Uh, Mystery Ranch. Uh, this is another fun one. <laughs> oh, this is really funny, actually. At least it's funny to me. Uh, so Mystery Ranch contacted us. We've done like 30 plus reviews with them, and I love Mystery Ranch. And this episode's going to be kind of Mystery Ranch heavy because we just recently reinvigorated our relationship with them, and we'll meet with them in two weeks at Outdoor Retailer. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I know a lot of people will be very excited about that one. It's often like our biggest or most viewed outdoor retailer uh, interaction that that in Patagonia basically in North Face so stay tuned for that all right back to the funny stuff so Mystery Ranch contacted me and said hey Sean would you like to do an unboxing video um, on a backpack and I was like well, I don't really do unboxing videos but we did it anyways and as I opened it up it's actually the wrong backpack so that was pretty pretty entertaining um, I may have done that before this episode. Yeah, that's right. That happened right before this, the last episode. So you probably know about that. See, that's what happens with that script. Uh, the next Mystery Ranch we did was actually a backpack that's not out yet. And this is super cool because we're actually going to do double coverage. Um, my new fr or my good friend and our newest writer, Dan Jimenez, out in Hawaii, um, he's covering the Blitz 30 liter, and I just did the Blitz 35 liter backpack. So it's a everyday carry like military, very military influenced, um, ABC pocketed, uh, really badass backpack. It's just out of frame right here, but it's using it for several weeks. I'm really impressed with that guy. Um, so it's not out yet. Sorry guys. It comes out in the fall. Uh, but it's, it's really nice. Uh, Andrew Piotrowski out on the East coast covered the Swiftwick flight XT trail socks. Uh, he calls them blister proof. He, and he runs more than anybody on the team, which is saying a lot. We've got a lot of runners. Andrew runs for like a day at a time and 50 mile races, all while having like a six month old kid and wife back at home. And he's, he's hardcore. And then a lot of uh, cool. So I love working with cool. Um, I've been a pro affiliate with cool for a decade plus as a fitness professional. And so pretty much if I'm not wearing cool, it's some other uh, company that I think very highly of uh, like Kuyu or such, but cool fits me really well. This is a cool shirt, got cool shorts on. Um, cool is the coolest. So cool free flex shorts and then the cool shift amphibia shorts, which I'm actually wearing right now. Um, so summertime's coming up and, um, my previous favorite shorts were the Navigator, which are still fantastic. And my friend Nick Brown loves those too. Um, but this nice to have a little variety. The Shift Amphibia review is up and the Free Flex is up as well. 
And then TSL Outdoors. This is fun. It's a French um, company. They previously sent over a pair of really unique snowshoes that our uh, colleague, friend, and writer Modis Yahoo reviewed back in the late fall, early winter. And um, he loves those, and those are they're fantastic. These are carbon fiber collapsible trekking pole. I use them for split boarding. Me and Aaron Rose actually were camping last Friday night up at Bertha Pass. We got a nice snowstorm with a foot and a half of snow. And we were just whooping it up, having a good time. We had like probably 30 or 40 people with us and a ton of dogs. And just, it was a, it was a fun event. We it just started off with Aaron and I showing up at the parking lot. And I put up a Facebook video saying this is how much snow is at Bertha Pass. And next thing you know, the parking lot's filled with a bunch of dirt bags and dogs. And we just had a great great uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, split boarding and backcountry skiing and swapping stories and stuff. It was fun. Test out the TSL Outdoors Connect Carbon Fiber or Carbon 5 Carbon Fiber Poles. And we put them up against the uh, Black Diamond Carbon Compactors as well as some other companies and uh, they did great. I felt like they absorbed, absorbed shocked even better, uh, which was nice. A bit pricey, about 160 bucks US, but they are really nice and high end. I had the review up on those. And then my new favorite pair of bibs, which is saying a lot. Outdoor Research Hemispheres bibs. These aren't out yet. They'll be out in the fall of 2022. Uh, Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex stretch in the crotch and in the lower back. And just perfectly laid out pockets and perfectly laid out fit, at least for me. So, of course, I got a glowing review. And I think that's actually the most viewed video we have up currently. So, must be a popular one with a lot of people. Even though it's the end of May, people are still out skiing and splitboarding. But yeah, Outdoor Research Hemispheres Bibs, fantastic. It'll be out in the fall of 2022, but been using it last month or so. Uh, and camping, too. We'll do a lot of winter camping, and I just wore those most of the time. And then I um, almost got you caught up. I have two that I shot at 3 a.m. this morning. That's why I'm a little bit loopy and I messed up that Mystery Ranch backpack one. Got up at 3 a.m. because it's hard to shoot a headlamp and a lantern review in the daylight. I, I, I studied all the other people's reviews and see if I can do better. And it looked good, but, you know, you're inside. And I could shoot it inside, too. And, not, you know, in the future I might do that as well. But I wanted to show you where I test the gear which is in the mountains, in a snowstorm at 10 degrees at 3 a.m. So I got up at 3 this morning and did the Princeton Tech Helix Backcountry Rechargeable Lantern, which is this cool, compact, USA-made little lantern. And then the Snap Headlamp, which is a really simple but effective headlamp that you can pull out of the uh, headlamp accessory and snap it magnetically to anything metal, which is great. So it's a, it's a flashlight, a magnetic flashlight, and a headlamp good stuff and then wrapping it up with mystery ranch the mission rover 30 i shot that video this morning um i've had the mission rover 60 for two or three years i think three years and they send over the 30 which is a nice day size um, travel bag so that'll be up probably next day or two or so all right, on to outdoor retailer. I'll try and make this, uh, I'll try and keep this about 20 minutes, and this is one's at 18 minutes already, so let's get to it. Outdoor retailer, we have meetings, so many meetings. First up, Mystery Ranch, um, Helinox, Adidas, Orca, GCI, um, Cascadia Roof Tents, um, Mammut, Deckers, doo -doo 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 -doo. Cedar Summit, Solo Stove, um, Cathlon, Osprey, oh, just a ton. Uh, Hydro Flask, Hydro Flask, Scarpa, Xbed, um, Loa, and about thirty more. So, <laughs> stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna have so much content, which is why I have all the cameras, gimbals, and um, screens, and uh, uh, it's awesome. I'm speechless. I'm so excited about the show. Reed Pittman is coming in from Washington State to come help out with it. And we're going to have uh, just a great time. Um, it's going to be the biggest one in three years. Uh, unfortunately, it might be the last one in Denver. Uh, so we're going to cover it in a big, big way. And not just at the Outdoor Retailer Show, but I'm going to try and, like I said, do some YouTube lives. 
um, as well as make some Instagram lives on our Engagement Instagram, which honestly, to me, Instagram is an after afterthought. Um, I, the website, Engagement.com, YouTube, even Facebook, I prefer over Instagram, um, but I'll, I'll try and keep it updated. Side Sidebar, Colorado Personal Fitness Instagram um, got hacked two weeks ago, so I've been dealing with that every day. Uh, I have not been able to resolve it and get access to it to even shut it down, so I have a new handle, Sean Sewell mountain man which is uh, the name that pavel gave me in his book the quick and the dead back there in the on the shelf so uh if pavel said it then it's good enough for me so i'm sean sewell mountain man on instagram also in gearment of course so i'll do my best to update in um instagram with some pictures and maybe even stories i, I hate doing stories but me and my wife to do that so you can live vicariously um with us while we go through outdoor retailer and have a lot of fun together but if not, and you like the YouTube, which is my favorite platform because I can teach to an international audience, you will see as many videos as we can possibly get up with all these companies and probably three times more here in about two weeks. So get your popcorn or chips or whatever stocked and get ready to binge <laughs> some cool content. Um, as always, I appreciate all of you out there. Uh, if you ever have any questions, you can always email me, Sean at engagement.com, or you can leave a comment below. Like, I don't know how algorithms work for YouTube, but thumbs up are always appreciated subscribing actually helps us out as well and comments P put a comment below i'll get back to you i read them all the good the bad the ugly i read them I try and respond accordingly so um as always i appreciate your support and until next time take care